check it out. Ask me about my band guitars. Awesome, huh? Hello, everybody. Thanks for tuning into the channel today. I'm going to do a little quick band guitar lesson for you. Uh, we often end up playing first position chords down here just because they sound great and you're accompanying somebody singing or you're playing along with another instrument. And you'll use what I call the vanilla chords, like you'll have like G, C, D, E minor, A minor, C, G. So uh, you may play in finger picking patterns, you may be strumming, uh, but every now and again you'll have a chance to play like a little solo and if you drop out and just play single notes, it sounds kind of lame. So you want to be able to keep some accompaniment going while you're playing your melody. And that can get pretty tricky. So one of the ways you can do this uh, is a little thing. Uh, years ago, I picked up a book of classical guitar tunes, and I'm far from a classical guitarist. But I kind of worked my way through some Bach pieces, and I discovered some stuff that I could use later on in a folky kind of in, uh, situation. And they all involve using first uh, position chords. Now, these are gonna use what are called dyads. Dyads are basically a two note chord. They're not really a true chord because sometimes there's not a root note in the chord. Maybe you're using the third or fifth note of the scale and you're omitting the root. That's fine because the key that you're playing in, you're going to imply different harmonies, maybe like a B minor or a G or an A minor, and you're only gonna use two fingers to do it, or two notes to do it. So let's go through, and I'm gonna show you a little scale pattern that you can use, and then you can use this to put together maybe a solo and a song. So these are gonna be two, little two note patterns. The first one is gonna be based off of a G chord. It's gonna take one finger, uh, play on the sixth string, third fret. There's a G, and we're gonna play the open third string. And now I'm gonna raise it up here so you can see. All I'm doing is just plucking that string with my second finger and the bass note with my thumb. Now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to slide my second finger down to the second fret of the sixth string. That's an F sharp and I'm going to play the third string second fret. I'm going to drop my third finger there. So these two fingers are going to act kind of like a little claw. So I go from here, slide down and put that second finger down. Third string second fret. So they're both on the second fret. Sixth string second fret third string, second fret. And I'm gonna play those two notes that I've got fretted. I'm gonna leave the other strings alone. So first chord was a G down to this one, and this implies a D chord. Because I'm playing the F, sharp and the F sharp and an A, which is the two notes of the D chord, I'm just omitting the root. Now I'm gonna slide back up to G and I'm gonna play the G with my thumb and I'm gonna pluck with my third finger, or excuse me, my second finger, the open B string, the second string. So chord one, chord two, chord three. Now, my next one will be the fifth string open and I'm gonna be playing a C which is the first fret of the second string. This is implying an A minor chord. That's two notes of an A minor chord. The next chord is a little tricky. You may need to practice this one a little bit just to get used to it because it involves using a weak finger, your pinky on this D, which is on the third fret of the second string, and the second finger is gonna reach across to the B up here, which is on the second fret of the fifth string. So that's D on the third fret, second string, B, the second fret of the fifth string. This implies a, a B minor chord, the B and the D, I'm leaving out the third. So first chord, second chord, slide back, Next chord, just the open A and the C up here. 
next chord, B and D, so second and third, fifth string and second string. Now I'm gonna switch over to C, third finger, goes on to the third fret of the fifth string. I'm gonna play the bottom string open, so that's a C and an E. I'm applying a C chord. Next one, second finger plays the F sharp, which is on the second fret of the first string, and I'm playing the fourth string open as my bass note. And then to finish it all off, I'm gonna go back to the first chord, which is G. I'm gonna play G and G on the high strings here. Now, as I get used to this pattern, I can add in other fingers into it. Let's say I wanna pluck some of the inside strings here. Sounds pretty cool. Kind of classical, kind of Renaissance kind of thing, like a lute. Uh, you put a capo on the, this around the fifth fret and do this, and it sounds very much kind of like a, like a lute, like a Renaissance instrument. It sounds pretty cool. It's a sound that I really like to use a lot. So uh, if you want to play now with uh, a finger picking pattern, let's just do like a standard. There's a, there's a cross picking video, which I have here on the website, which shows you how to do this pattern, but I'm alternating thumb second, thumb first. back down. All right, so that gives you something you could make a little solo out of and still keep your accompaniment going with your finger picking pattern. You never have to shift out of first position and you can use open strings to help fill in so you don't have to fret those particular strings. This works great if you're playing like, let's say you get a chance to take play a little break like between verses when you're singing or if you're accompanying another instrument and they toss you a solo. It's much easier to keep the pattern going like that than it is to try to play a single note solo like you might on an acoustic guitar. Try this out. If you have questions or comments, please put it in the comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe. That's your call to action. Thank you for watching today and uh, we'll see you around. Enjoy.